so today i'm going to cover one important thing although it's very small thing that uh, how to navigate to some other url or uh, let's see some external url you are on google page and you are moving to facebook.com right so google.com is a different domain and you are moving to the facebook.com that is a different domain okay so how to uh, you know switch from one domain to another domain or one site to another site and how to come back and how to click on forward button so this concept is called <clears throat> how to simulate back and forward button of the browser right so let's see if I open uh, let's see if I open google.com right so google.com is there and immediately if I open amazon.com right so it's opening amazon.com but if I want to go back so I'm clicking on this back button and again clicking on this forward button right again go back go back by clicking on go button okay by clicking on back button not go button so this is called back and forward buttons of browser so how to click on these two buttons because this is not part of your web page this is part of your browser so obviously I cannot spy this so if you try to spy obviously I cannot do that because this is not these are not web elements these are browser elements so how to do that right so for that case this is called back and forward simulation so I'll create a class let's see my class name is navigations okay so we will take this the same thing okay these are the prerequisites we are launching with Google driver and uh, let's take instead of uh, this thing let's take this one yeah okay and uh, I'm launching the URL once everything is done after that okay maximize the window delete all the cookies and have given one page load timeout also for 30 seconds and we are launching Google Chrome okay now we are launching Google Chrome after that I'm launching www.google.com okay so I'm launching google.com now what I want after google.com I want to move it to facebook.com or amazon.com so what I have to do we have to write driver dot navigate method dot two method is there and you have to pass where exactly you want to move so www dot let's see amazon dot com okay. okay so and after moving to amazon dot com you have to come back right so let's see this is working or not till here so let's run it and see yes google chrome is getting launched and it will enter amazon dot com okay from google to it's shifting to amazon.com okay yeah. so till here it's working fine now what we have to do we have to click on the back button so how to click on the back button we have one method driver dot navigate dot back okay. okay come back to google page and let's wait for thread dot sleep let's wait for two seconds okay and just add this throws declaration wait for two seconds and again click on forward button so after coming back again we are on google page right okay. and we have to come forward so driver oh sorry driver dot again navigate dot forward method is there so it will move forward to amazon again right yeah and let's again wait for two seconds 
okay and then again come back so we will write this line once again so what will be the latest page the last page will be google, google. page so first it will open google page then it will navigate to amazon.com click on back button come back to google page click on forward button come forward to amazon.com again come back to google page so the last page will be google page right <clears throat> right so let's run this program okay so google is launched amazon okay so once the page is fully loaded then it will again clicking on back button again forward button okay and again come back to google page okay so it's doing backward and forward button simulation this is called how to simulate backward back button and forward button okay it's very important they they will ask you at a time of interview okay how will you simulate how will you click on back and forward button of the browser then you have to use navigation okay driver dot navigate dot back and driver dot navigate dot forward simple sometime it happens that okay in our application we are clicking on a link and some other external site is getting opened and again you have to come back to your site your web your application right so in that case we have to use back and forward button okay right so let's say you you are you are on a google page and somewhere you clicked on amazon.com okay so you are moving to amazon.com but again you, your actual site is google page so again you have to come back so in that case no need to write google.com again just click on back button okay so this right. concept is called back and fo forward simulation okay okay now sometimes what happens that okay let's our page is is stuck somewhere you want to refresh the page so we are clicking on this uh, refresh button right to refresh the page right this refresh icon is there on all the browsers are available so how to refresh the page simple driver dot navigate dot refresh method is there simple to refresh the page okay so driver dot navigate dot refresh it simple refresh it will refresh the page okay so let's run it so amazon.com again come back to google page okay and come forward to amazon again come back to google page and then it will refresh automatically refresh page is refreshed okay so this is called how will you simulate refresh button how will you simulate back and forward button got it okay very simple so this is called they will ask you at a time of interview what is the difference between driver dot navigate dot to and driver dot get so driver dot get is also used to launch the URL, okay. But driver dot navigate dot two <coughs> is used to whatever the application URL is there. If you want to move to some other URL, some external URL, in that case we have to use driver dot navigate dot two. Okay, both are used to launch the URLs. But if you want to move, if you want to switch to some external URL, in that case you have to use driver dot navigate dot two method okay okay this is called <clears throat> navigation okay so they will ask you at a time of interview what is the difference between okay get method versus navigate dot to method okay both are used to launch the url but navigate dot to is used to launch the external url okay let's move to the next topic <clears throat> so next topic is how to take a screenshot okay take screenshot 
concept so sometime what happens in manual testing also we have to take a screenshot once the error is coming or okay any bug is there we have to take a screenshot let's see i want to take the screenshot of this google page then we have one print screen how will you take it manually right in windows we have print screen method is there right the print screen uh, key is there on your keyboard so you can yes. take uh, print screen and you can take the screenshot but how to do the same thing in selenium so to do the same thing in selenium let's say i want to take the screenshot of um, let's say i'll open this page google page and immediately after the google page i want to take the screenshot so how to take the screenshot so to take the screenshot we have a standard method is available no need to remember this code just remember the concept whenever it is required just copy paste so only these two lines are there just copy and paste okay okay i'll tell you what exactly it is this line will give you one suggestion just add throws declaration okay now what do you have to do just change the path where exactly you want to generate your screenshot okay so let's say i want to generate my screenshot in this folder in this package itself so i'll give the path of this particular package okay and uh, what is my file name my file name is google.png okay but now <clears throat> what is the code the code is after google.com i want to take a screenshot so one method is there get a screenshot as method is there okay so get a screenshot as method will give you one file object but we are top casting into take a screenshot class <clears throat> okay we are converting driver into take a screenshot class so take a screenshot is the interface not the class sorry is interface if you mouse over it's written over there interface so see there is no need to remember this code this is the standard code in selenium in their site also they have written okay the exact two lines of code so no need to remember that okay what exactly this method and what exactly this interface and all those things just remember only two concepts they will ask you at the time of interview can we take a screenshot in selenium yes we can take a screenshot in selenium by using get a screenshot as method okay so we are converting this driver into take a screenshot which will give you one file object and this file object we are copying file from src to <clears throat> where exactly on which location you want to generate your screenshot so i want to generate my screenshot on this particular location in my hard disk on my hard disk i want to generate this particular screenshot my screenshot name will be google.png or you can use google.jpg file okay so if you take the screenshot please generate in this particular location so we are giving this location also that's it only two lines of code we have to write okay so if you run this program you will see it will open google drive chrome driver okay chrome driver is open and then it will take the screenshot so how to check the screenshot is there i have written in your workspace this is your workspace in this particular selenium sessions folder selenium sessions folder and then refresh this page if you refresh it see google.png is there can you see that so if you open this the screenshot is there this is a screenshot yes okay but it's not compulsory that every time you have to write uh, you know your workspace location you can generate in your c drive d drive anywhere so just write c colon google.png or c documents new folder is there and google.png and whatever the name facebook.png and .jpg you want to generate it will generate that particular file okay so this these are the two lines of code that you have to always use the okay just copy paste no need to remember at the time of interview nobody will ask you okay how to take a screenshot simply
Okay. Okay. So this is how we take screenshots. Okay. One important thing today I'm going to cover <clears throat> that what is explicitly weight. So, so far, if you remember in the last session, we have seen what is implicitly weight and what is remember what is implicitly weight and what is page load timeout remember yes that yes. we check implicitly weight that what is page load timeout and what is implicitly weight page load timeout is for page loading implicitly weight page is for load. implicitly we are putting a weight for all the elements but what is explicitly weight right so for explicitly weight also let's see <clears throat> One page is there. Let's see. I'll open half.ebay.com. Okay. This site is there. It's saying oh, half.com has closed. <laughs> Why it is closed? Oh. Okay. Let's see. This page is there. Right. What is happening this half.ebay.com or whatever any site you can we can pick any site let's see if this particular email id and password these two fields are coming after some time the page is fully loaded completely but it's still specific element let's see this button register button or sign in button is coming after some time or let's see this help icon is coming after some time then and we have written that okay after the page we have to click on this icon this help icon and you are using dot click method but this icon is not visible so immediately selenium will throw an exception that element not found exception or a stale element exception something like that then what we have to do so we have to put one explicit weight explicitly we are waiting for that particular element okay once the element is visible once the element is available on the page then we have to click on it getting a point okay so explicitly weight is for the specific element you can put explicitly weight for any specific element let's see this image is not coming this image is coming after five seconds or ten seconds after the page load page is fully loaded which will not give you guarantee see there is no guarantee if page is fully loaded there is no guarantee that all the elements are loaded properly no page is fully loaded means the page is completely loaded from the server but some images are still pending or some limb or links or some uh, uh, you know elements are still pending on the page right sometime it happens <clears throat> especially for ajax component right let's see one uh, country drop down is there you select usa and in uh, state also you are selecting california and then you are selecting one city Let's see, same thing, let's see, you are selecting India and then you are selecting Maharashtra and then Pune. But let's see, from, uh, from state drop down, you are selecting Karnataka. So the options will be changed immediately in the third drop down, but it's taking some time. Okay, so <clears throat> if you select Karnataka, you want to select Bangalore, but if you select Maharashtra, you want to select Pune. So, but there is a, there is a time gap. The moment you select Maharashtra, all the states of, all the cities of Maharashtra will be loaded okay in the third drop down same thing if you are selecting karnataka all the values all the cities of karnataka will be loaded but it's taking some time all the values are coming from the database but immediately if you want to perform something let's see you're selecting dot select and you're selecting uh, pune okay so immediately it will give you one element exception that element not found exception or some other exception why because it's taking some time and selenium is not going to wait for it. So we have to put some weight in the form of explicitly weight. You can put thread.sleep. I can write thread.sleep for 5 seconds or 2 seconds. But this is not the right way. Let's say you have written thread.sleep for 2 seconds. But let's see element is still not available in 2 seconds. Then it will give you error after 2 seconds. So we have to put one dynamic weight. We have to put one explicitly weight. Okay. 
so let's see okay. <clears throat> so what we have to do okay so i'll write this code so there are two types of weight first we will provide page load timeout and then implicitly wait timeout driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly wait let's see for 40 seconds and time unit dot seconds right so these two implicitly wait we have added page load timeout and implicitly wait we have added <coughs> so this is the global weight now why I have to provide my explicitly wait so for explicitly wait also what exactly I have written? I have written one standard method which I'll give you. Okay, so let me give you that method. You can use that method anywhere. That is very a generic method. And I'll tell you how I exactly I created that method. Just a minute. Sorry. After the main method, I'm writing this method. Okay. Now see, I have created this click on method. Can you see that? This click on method. <clears throat> so this is a method. So obviously I cannot create a method inside the main method. So there is a separate method. Now this method, what exactly is doing? This method is void. It means this method is not returning anything okay so what I'm doing here in this particular method we are passing three parameters what is your driver what exactly your locator and what exactly timeout you want to give so <clears throat> what exactly we are doing the method body is starting from here and ending here we are creating web driver weight object so web driver weight is a class already available in selenium so we are creating the object of web driver weight by using new web driver weight okay in web driver weight it will give you it will take two parameters what exactly your driver and how much time you want to wait okay so my weight is my driver this is the driver and this is a timeout what I'll pass whatever a timeout 30 seconds or 40 seconds I'll pass that parameter over here and then one condition I'm putting that please ignore stale element reference exception please ignore this particular exception until see don't be confused with the second line we have written this method like this until okay one condition expected condition that once the element is clickable then please click on it Okay, so this is called explicitly wait. I'll repeat. I'm creating new web driver wait object, web driver wait object. I'm passing what is my driver and what is my timeout. Let's say timeout is 30 seconds. And please ignore stale element reference exception until until the condition. What exactly condition? My expected condition is expected condition. Again, it's a class available in Selenium. That element should be clickable. Element to be clickable. Which element? This particular locator element okay so let's see i am open i am opening uh, let's see facebook.com so let's open facebook.com here let me log out so this is a dummy facebook i have created for the practice point of view let's see this is the page okay log first page I want to check that uh, <clears throat> this login button is okay. I want to click on this login button. So I aspire this login button. So this is the input field and uh, we can take this ID. Okay. So or we can take this X path. Okay. Now what I'll do. <clears throat> I'll call this method click on method okay because we have to click on it so what exactly I'll do click on method I'll call okay this method will be called so this is a static in nature so no need to create the object remember the static 
so no need to create the object because this is static in nature so simply click on yeah. what is your driver this is my driver i'm passing what exactly your locator so my locator is driver dot find element by dot x path and x path of this right x path we have already taken off login button and what is your timeout let's say i'm going to wait for 20 seconds so what exactly it will do i'll open facebook.com okay it will refresh the page like this and then let's see login button is coming after 5 seconds so it will wait for maximum time is 20 seconds it will wait for 20 seconds to, okay to login button is visible or not it will check that login button is visible okay and it's gonna wait for 20 seconds explicitly for login okay and then what exactly it will call this method so it will come over here on click on method the driver will be given to this driver what is your web element locator that this particular locator is this on the basis of xpath and timeout is 20 timeout is 20 right 20 will be given to this we are passing three parameters now new web driver driver is this timeout will be 20 ignore this particular exception an expected condition dot <clears throat> element to be clickable which element this particular locator and this locator is this which element to be clickable this particular element to be clickable the login button okay and then this condition is satisfied okay and then locator dot click then click on it see i can write driver dot find element by dot x part dot click directly without putting explicitly wait but the problem is if you write like this let's say login button is coming after five seconds selenium will give you exception immediately that element not found exception right so there are two ways either you wait for five seconds you put thread dot sleep for five seconds and then click on login button but i don't want to use thread dot sleep i want to use explicitly wait that explicitly wait for login button to be appeared on the page and then once it is clickable then click on it and the maximum time i'm giving 20 seconds right the maximum time i have given 20 seconds now another concept is let's see element is visible within two seconds so the rest of the 18 seconds will be ignored getting a point if the element is found let's see within five seconds so the rest of the 15 seconds will be ignored totally so this is so dynamic in nature that it's not going to wait for 20 seconds the maximum time is 20 seconds but if element is visible within two seconds now the 18 seconds are still left will be ignored and your program will continue okay so this is very very strong okay wait this is called synchronization point in selenium in the form of explicitly wait so explicitly wait always remember for the specific element okay not for all the elements explicitly wait is for the specific element what is your element this element on the basis of one condition your condition is element to be clickable okay sometimes one condition is there if you see after dot control space you will see element to be visible so there are number of options element to be available element to be selected element to be clickable right so there are number of options presence of element if element is present then click on it text for text also sometimes okay text to be present so the, but most of the time we use element to be clickable once element is clickable then click on it sometimes what happens that okay login button is displayed but it's not clickable sometimes it is let's see for initial for a couple of seconds it's disabled some sites are there right facebook is a very obviously very good site so obviously in that case login button immediately visible but some sites are there some buttons are coming which getting displayed but not visible or maybe not clickable or it's disabled right so we can put one condition that once element to be clickable then locator dot click then click on it right so this is very important method you can use this method anywhere in your program this is a standard generic method okay to perform any click and it will work for all the buttons it will work for all the links it will work for all the checkboxes or radio buttons whenever you have to perform any click method or any click action it will perform it will work 
you just need to pass three parameters what is your driver on which element do you want to do okay and what exactly the timeout what exactly the time you want to provide let's see some link is available now let's talk about some other option let's see I want to click on this uh, male or female let's see I mean if in case if we want to select a value from drop down so yeah, in, in that, that case, case, in that case, in that case, it will not work. For drop down, you have to create another explicitly wait for that because this is only and only for click. Okay, so let's talk about drop down also. Wait. So let's see. I'm giving you another example. Let's see. I want to click on this create, create a page. Okay. So what I'll do? Simple. See, now it will be very simple. Click on what is your driver? This driver. Dot is located driver dot find element by dot xpath and xpath of this particular link. So this is xpath. Okay. And what is your timeout? Let's your timeout. I'm giving only for 10 seconds. Okay. So this is for login button. This is for create a page link. Right. So I'm using click on method. This is for login button. So I'm passing login button locator on the basis of expert. You can use any anything by dot ID, by dot link text, or by dot name, whatever you want to use. And click on this is for create a page link. But here I'm giving only 10 seconds. But I know that because create create a page is, is coming within 10 seconds. So no need to write 10 seconds or 20 seconds or different different other weights. Okay, so it's up to you what exactly the timeout you want to give. And this is the standard method that I've created. Every time I'll call this method for all the click options. Okay, so if you run this program, let's run it. See, Chrome is getting launched. Facebook, first it will click on thing and then Let's see, it's just still working. Okay, it's see, it's showing some error. Yeah, what is this? Oh, we're waiting for element. Okay, see. Maybe XPath is wrong, so that's what exactly I tried for 20 seconds, but XPath is not visible. Right? See the error. I wanted to show you this error. Waiting for element to be clickable. Right? This is the error. And what exactly the time for this particular element? U underscore zero underscore two. U underscore zero underscore two. They tried for 20 seconds, but element is not visible. Then throw this exception okay exception is timeout exception expected condition failed okay why because we are using wrong xpath so this particular xpath is not correct maybe some whatever some different xpath is there so that's why see this is the testing of our code that login for login button we have given the wrong xpath it means we are expecting some different element but the element is not available and it waited for 20 seconds and after 20 seconds okay it gave you error right we waited for 20 seconds and then it gave you error see if you run this program again let's run it again see let's see xpath is not correct for login button xpath is not correct oh, i clicked on sorry manually i clicked on it so let's see xpath is not correct so it will check oh, that element is not available, but it's going to wait for 20 seconds and after 20 seconds, it will give you error. See, it's not giving you any error immediately. But after 20 seconds, once the locator is still not available, it's not able to clickable, then it will give you exception or error. Okay, so let's wait for 20 seconds. I think 10, 12 seconds already gone and then it will give you error. If you don't use this thing immediately it will give you error but at least we are giving okay one option to selenium 
boss please wait for 20 seconds and then throw some exception so he is still waiting it's waiting 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 okay and then 